Okay, uh, hi YouTube, uh, Better Be Sure here and uh, I'm continuing with this rocket stove project uh, that I'm working on. Um, I put a video on a short while ago, I was going to put a fan on with this rocket stove. Um, still not decided whether I'm going to do that or or what yet. Um, really don't know whether I can be bothered with it. I think it's going to work fine as it is. But we'll see. But uh, I'll show you the stages I've got to so far, and um, let's uh, let's see what you you think to it. Um, also, hopefully, if you decide to build one yourselves, you'll probably find that it uh, might help you with your designs, save you a lot of hard work. Um, <clears throat> what I've done so far with this one, I've ripped uh, ripped the guts out, as I showed you before. In a previous video, there was the element into that, so I took that out, removed it. Uh, it's left this little hole here. The switch has been removed off, and at the bottom of this, it had uh, the switch and everything housed in the bottom. I've taken all that out, but it's left a hole. But the plate that was on the bottom, actually, uh, that I removed, fits absolutely dead on. Uh, this is the plate. So this is going to go in the bottom of the pan and that will seal that hole and when I've got the the rest of the uh, inserts into it, uh, it will be filled with vermiculite around it that will provide the insulation and um, hopefully that will be fine with that. Now this is what I've done so far, this is going to be, this is the chimney for it stainless steel once again. Now I've shaped the bottom of this. Um, what I did was I had to, it was a bit tricky, but this is going to be the base uh, or, the, or the, the feed tube. So what I've done is uh, you can see I had to put this up against a, a desk, mark around it to give an idea of the shape there and then the rest was cutting around with some tin snips and you'll notice this then fits on pretty much perfect you can see there that fits a nice snug fit around there now the slots that I've cut into here is going to facilitate cutting out this hole for the top I've cut three slots in it um, I'm going to remove those inner slots and then I'm going to go around that with some tin snips which I've already scribed and marked out. So this then will fit exactly in to this with a nice tight snug fit. Okay, so you can see the, the scale of that. Alright, uh, this is where I've got to so far. I've got to also cut out a hole to the right diameter for that, for this to fit in. And um, I will show you another video as I get this done. So thanks for watching and um, that's this stage over with. Bye for now.